are dive bombing people in an East Cobb neighborhood, and it's pretty frightening. Yeah, it's frightening, mm -hmm. disturbing. The attacks are frequent. They are even striking young kids. CBS 46's Ayana Crystal is live in East Cobb right now with just how dangerous this is for the people who live in this area and the people who frequent this area, Ayana. Definitely, Sharon. This has really become dangerous for this neighborhood. Several people have had to go to the hospital and get stitches, but these hawk attacks have really become the norm, and now people are afraid to even go outside. For months, this neighborhood has had to deal with these aggressive hawks. The problem is there are a lot of pine trees like you see here, which is the perfect place for these hawks to nest. So walk about at least three hours every morning because that's the best time for me to walk. Ends up being around seven miles a day. Michael Stancliffe usually enjoys the wilderness on his walks in his East Cobb neighborhood. I see the hawks flying see the hawk? out when they have babies. But his walks have become dangerous. For months, hawks have been dive bombing people who come too close to their nest. Because they swooped at me several times in the past where they just lift your hair up, you know. And, but this time I was walking by myself and I felt like someone hit me on top of the head with a two before. It just almost knocked me down, and then I, you could see the hawk flying off in front of me. Yesterday, a hawk actually struck him, leaving gashes in his head. See, it's always they come from behind because that's what they are. They're predators. They, they know when you're looking and when you're aware and when you're in a walking around daydreaming. <laughs> that's why every time they got me, I think I was daydreaming. <laughs> my daughter's been attacked twice and my husband's been attacked once. Because of all the attacks, Jennifer Macheski's family has had to make sure they are up to date on their tetanus shots. And there's really nothing we can do about it. They're protected species. The nest is right up there in the pine. The hawks are so aggressive, the kids in the neighborhood are afraid to walk or play outside. You know, so all the kids walking back and forth, the sprayberry, they're in the path of it. Mm -hmm. And we've pulled out and, you know, the hawk was on a dive down going after a kid and, you know, the car caused it to Break its flight. Hawks usually don't attack people, so these frequent attacks are rare. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Division says stay away from the nest. Now I know a little better, so I changed my walk where I walk in a, where I can see them. I don't have my back turned to them anymore. Like I am not going outside, I'm not risking it. All right, so take a good look. It's really hard to see because we are so far away, but this is a nest and the hawk is in there just eyeballing us and watching every move. And guys, we have had to watch our back the entire time. So if you do come outside, they are urged to wear a hat, have an umbrella, or make sure you avoid the areas with the nest. We're live in East Cobb, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.